shall be purified. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Reverso here. Welcome back to another episode of Tales of Vesperia PS3 English Patch. Uh, so, check it out. I actually, I downloaded a, a guide of sorts for all the side quests in the game and all like the, the uh, basically the sub-events and side quests. Uh, mostly because I don't really want to pass up anything too uh, crazy because like, I want to definitely try to get as many titles as possible, and I want to definitely try to get uh, as many costumes as possible on my first run. And a lot of stuff in this game is missable, where basically if you don't do it within a certain time frame, uh, it'll be unobtainable later in the game. Uh, so like there, there are a couple events that uh, are spread across the entire game, like something you have to do in the beginning of the game in order to unlock something in the end of the game, and then that can give you like a costume and like stuff like that. So I definitely want to uh, make sure I don't miss anything. So I looked up a guide just for that. It's not like a it's not it's not a playthrough guide. It's just a guide for all the sub events. So um, I'm already looking at it, and there's some things I uh, I already missed um, that I want to see if I can do before we progress any further. Uh, so whenever we get a chance to free, uh, basically free explore, I want to see if I can backtrack a little bit. And do some of these sub-events. Uh, sub, sub um, but for right now, let's go check out the Magistrate's Evil. Uh, we're talking about Magistrate uh, Rago, or whatever his name is, Ragu, the pasta sauce. And uh, he's basically a jerk. Shisei-kan,やりたい放題なんて気分の悪い街ね。帝国の一部の人間がでかい顔してんのはどこも同じだな。街の入り口で見たような光景。俺の住んでた下町でも腐るほどあったよ。僕は帝国管理官の町に住んでないからいいけど、こんなところには絶対いたくないな。どうして失勢感はこんなことを。ま、俺らまで町の雰囲気に付き合ってやることはね。そういうこと。はい。Yeah, so everybody's trying to keep in good spirits, even though the magistrate is a jerk. Let's see if we are actually allowed to leave. I'm sure they might stop us. Yeah. Okay, so we have to at least continue this much. Uh, let's see. There's actually one thing we can do... ...over here, I guess. The Dice Master, we checked this out before. And the Dice Master wasn't home, but now he's home. So I think we can do something. Oh, excuse me, young lady. Can you spare a minute or two? Huh? You mean me? Yes, yes, indeed! You think you might want to play a little game of dice with me? To make it interesting, I'll give you a nice present if you can beat me. What do you say? Hmm, well, why not? Wouldn't have pegged Rita for a gambler type. But are you sure? I'm pretty good at that kind of game. Ho oh, ho, excellent! I've been looking for an opponent to give me a challenge. They call me the master. I won't go down without a fight. Huh, <sighs> do we really have time to be sitting around and playing games? Yeah, sure, why not? Don't worry, I'll make short work of this geezer. Just wait and see. Ho <laughs> ho! Well then, shall we begin? Uh, high or low, I guess? I guess I just ask, or I guess I just guess. Uh, did I win? Frankly, after all that big talk, I was expecting a more impressive showing. What? No, you've got it all wrong. I'm just feeling a little under the weather. Oh, feel free to come back for a rematch. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, uh, let's check out the skit, Witcher and Rita. So, yeah, I know Witcher is a boy. Witcher is a boy? Yo, I totally take back what I said in the last episode. <laughs> Which is a boy, apparently. Alright, let's try this again. Uh, let's go high. We're gonna stay high. There, we won, right? 666, or 555. Oh, uh... Let's go low. Uh, 
Hey, I don't know really what the criteria is. Let's go high again. I think it's low. Damn. So you have to get all rounds? In order to win? Oh god, that's annoying. Okay. We're gonna do this. Let's see how, uh... How good our luck is. We just gotta get three in a row. I... I don't know what... I don't know how this works. Is it the sum of them? If the sum... Oh, that's high. Huh. We're gonna do this. We're definitely gonna do this. Hi. Okay. Uh, let's just keep going high. This will work eventually, right? I think that's also high. Alright, last one. Can we also get another high? 50-50? Damn it. It's definitely low. I was thinking about going low, too. Damn it. Uh, I mean, we're not losing money or anything. This is just really annoying and it's just really up to luck. Uh, how about even a rod, I guess? So this is the sum? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Damn, we can't win anything. <laughs> this is taking way too long. Alright, uh, let's go high. We're gonna go high, low, high. I think that's high. Let's go low. That's high. That's definitely high. Uh, what are actually the, the the chances of getting this? Oh my god. I don't know what determines if it's high or low or not. I think it's just the sum. The sum just has to be a certain number, I guess. It's probably, hold on, so there's six sides to a die, so six times three would be 18. So it's probably like, if, is it like if the sum is higher than eight or something? Well, that doesn't make sense, right? It's low. Yeah, because that was seven. That was a seven total. Alright, uh... Let's see. Whoops. No, I, I didn't mean to do that one. Damn it. Uh, yeah, we just keep freaking losing. This is dumb. This is actually dumb. <laughs> it's too much luck. How are, you, how are you supposed to... There's nothing... There's literally nothing skill involved. It's literally just luck. We'll start low. Oh, watch, it's gonna be high this time. No, okay, this time it was actually low. Uh, let's keep going low. Okay, that seemed to work. Uh, let's go high. Just, I don't know. Uh, thank you. Finally, we won something. We got a gel set. Finally. Yeah, really. <laughs> yes, I've lost. I guess even someone with no skill can win eventually. Pretty much. Shut up, Yuri. Now for your prize, a delicious kiss from yours truly. She's 15, dude. Ha, uh, fooled you? No, I'm going to give you the title of new master. As news of my defeat travels, new challenges will appear. Hoping to steal your glory. Stay strong and don't lose Rita. That is, the new Dice Master Rita. To be continued next time, and a new assassin lurks. Oh, I butchered that. A new assassin lurks. To be continued? That's not likely. Ho 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 ho! Well, if you ever feel like it, you're welcome to join me in my hobbies. Okay, so we got a new title. Jeez, that took forever. New Dice Master. 
Uh, rookie dice master with skills that can change the history of roll of rolling of dice rolling. Okay, so that was actually uh, there's apparently a couple parts to this to this uh, to this game. So we have to come back later in order to uh, keep doing it. So, but we did it for the first part, so that's good. Opinions on Flynn's? なんかこう、真面目でできる人だよね。そう。私には友人の聞かない頭の固そうなやつに見えたけど、フレンは何かあれば親身になって力を貸してくれるいい人ですよ。今じゃあんなんだけど、昔は下町で無茶してたんだ
That's a lie. You ウィチル、ブラシア研究所の強制調査権限が使えないか確認を取っておいてくれ。全く程度を出て少しは変わったこと思えばこれでは無茶の規模が膨れ上がっただけだ。フレン。よりは守るべきものの自分が傷つくことを厭わない。それが羨ましくもあり、そのための無茶が不安でもあるんですかね。ねえ、エステル、もう行こう。有利に置いていかれるよ。で、私たちもこれで。あ、エステリーゼ様。はい。その、どうです
Don't want to get caught by the guards. Okay, so they do actually kind of stop us from doing that. I think we're still able to go around. I'm hoping. I'm just going to try and avoid all this. All these stupid monsters. Okay. I couldn't avoid that one. Okay. Good stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, let's see. I'm just going to cross off, uh, cross that off the list of things we did. Uh, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me, thank you. Okay, it's going to be a bit of backtracking. Something that's actually kind of cool is that this is all... Oh, alright. This whole area of a Mead Hill is all one map, and that's kind of impressive to me. Like, normally, uh... Normally in Tales games and in, in RPGs in general, you'll have multiple screens. Um, you'll have multiple screens and stuff to work through, but... This is all one continuous, uh, map. No other screens or anything. It's kind of cool when you think about it. Damn it. <laughs> Alright. Get rid of these stupid things. Alright, cool. So we're working our way back. Uh, so first stop, I think, crap, is Aspio. We have some things to do there. Just some short things, but we missed them the first time. So hopefully they're still available uh, for us to do. I just destroyed that thing. Damn it! <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, new move. Lightning wave. He missed though, but... Carol got a new move, so I guess this wasn't a complete waste of time. Alright, let's see. Oh my gosh, so many monsters in this area. <laughs> Right. Very nice. We're like, we're pretty strong, but we're not that over leveled that, uh, that we can deal with these things like super quickly. Right, so we have a couple things to do in Aspio. We have uh, something to do in Halor. Uh, so since Halor is right here, I guess we'll take care of this first. Okay, apparently it's these two. If you head for the seat... If you head for the sea from here, you can't help running into Emid Hill. They say there is the remains of some monster in the ground about halfway up. The story goes that this monster was as long as the trunk of the tree of Halor. Big, right? Not long ago, I caught sight of a gallant man on my way home from the port city. He was tall and slender, with silver hair. He headed into the mountains, and no one's seen him since. 
He was far too handsome to be a hermit. I wonder who he could have been. Okay. So that's actually, uh... Part of... A side quest there. Um, so we did that. Now there should be... Let's see. You? No, it's not you. Okay, so we have to talk to someone else in this town. We have one more thing. But yeah, apparently that last side quest with those, uh... Those... That couple that we were just talking to, that's somehow connected to that gravestone that we found, uh, the first time when we went through a meat hill. So I think we talked to you now. Red. So very red. This year is especially bad. What's the matter, Mayor? Oh, -ho, you're back? What about something being red? Oh, it's just this year's flowers are in a, uh, an especially deep shade of red. So I was thinking that the curse of the Cage Emperor's Bride must be particularly strong this year. But I'm just joking, of course. Who's this Cage Emperor's Bride supposed to be? About 300 years ago, the Emperor at the time, Brimstone IV, planted a tree on the perimeter of Haloy's Barrier. He lived all of his later years shut up inside his castle, so people took to calling him the Caged Emperor. It's always so educational to have you around, Estelle. But what does the Caged Emperor's Bride have to do with this tree? Legend has it that the Caged Emperor murdered his fiancée and buried her corpse beneath the roots of this tree. Holy crap, that's... That got dark. The tree gets its red colored from the murdered bride's blood, which its roots absorb. W what the hell? It's really nothing more than a legend. Of course. There's no way a tree could keep sucking up someone's blood for centuries anyway. Yes, but I'm worried that this macabre tale will spread and uh, drive potential visitors away from our town. Uh, then don't you think it's a bad idea telling it to travelers like us? I, uh, oops. <laughs> okay, forget all about that story I just told you, could you? How are we supposed to forget something like that? If you don't forget it, the Cage Emperor's Bride will hold a grudge against you. C cut it out! Ha, ah, Rita's scared. Uh, <laughs> there you go again, you're just reinforcing the legend. Oops. There's no way that story is true. Alright. So that was that. We learned about the Cage Emperor's Bride. Or something like that. So. We can cross that off uh, on the things. The things we can do. Next stop is Aspio. We got uh, a couple things to do in Aspio. Uh, but first, let's check item store I just want to see if there's anything worth synthesizing okay it's all the same stuff it's taking Rita a long time to do this I felt like she had that for a while all right so like I said next stop is Aspio Uh, so that um, talking to that talking to that old guy under the tree, talking to the mayor, uh, that's also part of a side quest. Uh, so we'll have, probably have to talk to him again later. Uh, come on, you stupid beast! All right, that was that wasn't even worth the experience. So in Aspio, we have to uh, go to Rita's house, and let's see, that's I think that's about it. So let's go ahead and come up to Rita's house. Whoops. If 
I remember correctly, her house was over here to the left. We just hut. Okay, and there should be, uh, no. There should be something here we can interact with. Oh, wait. You really like Blastia, don't you? Hey, I told you not to touch Victoria with your grimy little hands. So she names Blastia. I think th I think we were supposed to do this one before the one in the Mead Hill, but it doesn't matter. V Victoria? Do you mean this Blastia... How come you like them so much? How come? Because they're fun. The way they work, the theory behind them? Uh, I don't know. I've never really thought about it. Can you give reasons why you like the things you like? Well, there are definitely some things I like for no particular reason. I guess the reason I like them is because I like them. Exactly. <laughs> Alright. Don't know if that was worth the trek all the way back here. But it's part of a side quest, so more stuff will happen with that later. Probably get some titles, maybe a cool costume, who even knows? It's all for guessing. Alright, and I think the last thing we have to do is find the, uh... Let's see, the Traveling King of Adventure, the Traveling Inn. Uh, wherever they are, remember they were. I remember they were around Zaphius when we left there, but I forget where they are in this part of the map. I feel like they're around here somewhere. Weren't they over here last time? They like, they really wander, and I don't know if there's a way to find them. Uh, let's see. We have a map. Yeah, I don't know exactly where they are. Uh, so what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to cut here. We'll call this an episode. And in the next episode, uh, I'll just keep wandering until I find them. And then in the next episode, uh, we'll start up basically right where they are. And we'll see what... Whoa, what is this? Oh, here's some new monsters. Hey. I think I, I don't think I have any magic lenses, actually. Tentacler? Oh no, I do. I bought some. Alright. So we have these things. Uh, but yeah, so what we'll do... Is we'll, like I said, we'll, we'll just kind of call this an episode. And then I'll see... I'll see if I can find the traveling inn. And I'll start the next episode right there. If I can't find them, I can't find them, but that's the plan. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And not oh, oh, crap. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, we're on the beach. Peace out. <laughs>